Hello, to be honest, I don't really know why you clicked on this video. If you are one of my subscribers, you know that I usually do gaming. But if you click because you wanted to see some cooking, then you can skip to the timestamp that is right now. But until then, I want to talk with my audience a bit, because they know that usually I do gaming stuff, not cooking stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't want this channel to become a cooking channel, it's literally called SBF Gaming. But if you want, I could, if you, and you, if you are interested in me cooking, I could make another secondary channel called like SBF Cooking where I sometimes post me cooking, sometimes I don't know. Uh, you can tell me that in the comments if you want to see something like that. But anyway, now let's get cooking. Today uh, I wanted to start cooking every national dish there exists, starting with alphabetically Afghanistan, because alphabetically that is the first country on the list. So uh, yeah, let's get cooking. <laughs> okay, I want to apologize in advance for my camera placement. Uh, I hope you can still enjoy the video even uh, if you can't see much, but anyway, I will narrate what I did. The recipe uh, that I found needed some uh, chicken broth, so I uh, uh, started by uh, putting the chicken into some water and boiling it. Then I cut off some onions. And I put them in a pan, uh, cooking them basically, until they uh, became, uh, they should have became brown, but uh, they did not become brown, they mostly burn. Uh, but anyway, uh, after that I uh, added the chicken to the pan. And when the chicken started to become like a bit more cooked, uh, I added the chicken broth, a little bit of chicken broth, to the mix until uh, until the chicken broth disappeared, evaporated. And when uh, that happened, I added more chicken broth and covered up with uh, something like that. I do not have something to hold it properly, but uh, yeah, that, that did the trick. While the chicken was cooking, I uh, cut off some uh, carrots, like this, into long sticks. And uh, in another pan, I add some water and the carrots and cook them until they uh, became a bit soft. Then I drained the water and added uh, a bit of oil, uh, raisins, almonds and sugar. Then uh, I stir them for a little bit and uh, uh, the carrots should have uh, taken a sweet flavor. I did not taste them, but uh, I hoped they were good. I removed them from the heat and um, in a aluminium like uh, foil, I put them there and covered them up a little because I don't know why, but that's that's what the recipe said. Uh, 
But anyway, then I remove the chicken, put them aside, and uh, in uh, the leftover chicken broth, I uh, uh, put some cumin, cardamom, and pepper. And I let it cook a bit more. Only the chicken broth with those spices. So in a large pot, I put uh, some water and salt and then uh, once the water started boiling I added rice so I put the rice into this thing right here and I added the chicken broth then over uh, I mixed it and over it I added the uh, chicken pieces like yeah, the chicken and over it I put the aluminium foil with the carrot without removing the aluminium foil etc. So uh, I put them back into a uh, oven for about 20 minutes and when it was done it was basically done. Uh, we had five chicken pieces and uh, five persons so uh, per uh, bowl it was some rice, a chicken piece and some carrots. But uh, overall we like this recipe. I uh, it was okay. I uh, it's really strange. I mean uh, compared to European food it's really strange to combine all of those spices. But it was pretty good. I um, I don't remember what I gave it like I don't know. My dad I remember he gave it a 10 because he really liked it and uh, us like a 9 I think I gave it an 8 I think but overall it was a 9 uh, when you put them all of them together uh, it was a 9 so 9 out of 10 I'd say that's pretty good we didn't really like uh, the cardamom spice uh, if I had to give you a tip I would say to remove the cardamom spice because uh, like it gave it good flavor but uh, when you were eating it if you didn't see and you would eat it uh, yeah it tasted uh, pretty bad my dad liked it but us we did not like it how it uh, that spice tasted but anyway, I recommend you trying this recipe, be careful, because it takes a while, uh, for me at least, it took a lot of time to prepare. So uh, yeah, we ate really late because of that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, and again, tell me in the comments if you want to see more uh, cooking cooking videos basically. Oh, by the way, the website where I found the recipe is in the description. Anyway, see you next time.